Check on who, mama? What's going on, Facebook? I like that because my man Tick always say that. What's going on, Facebook? Y'all can see, let me get a little closer, maybe. Man, there we go, right there. All right. Who I got, what I got going on? Hold on, I'm trying to set the queen phone. I'll set her uh, tablet up to the Bluetooth. Oh, no, that's parent. I don't want that, no. Um... So what's good, man? Let's talk motorcycling, man, real quick. I've been doing a lot of stuff on Facebook, on my YouTube channel. Cool. So if you mm -hmm. want to know some of the videos I've talked about, um, Dying for the Brotherhood and a bunch of other stuff, go to my YouTube channel, FHO Atlanta GA. Make sure you subscribe, hit the like button um, so that you could uh, be on, man. You feel me? Uh, what up? So, Merry Christmas to everybody. Latoya, what up with it? Demetrius, what up with it? Okay. Merry Christmas to everybody. Merry Christmas to everybody. Latoya, what up with it? Demetrius? Let me turn this down, son. Okay, who I got on here? Reggie, Dion, Double, what's good? Hey, check this out, man. So, you guys know that the PRO is coming up in almost in about two weeks. Um, it's in St. Louis, Missouri. From the 19th to the 21st. You know, me, Snowman, and Big Punchy, we have the general session which is an all-day session. Um, we're going to be talking about some real good stuff. We're going to have a good time. Um, but most importantly is this. I don't want you to think that we're going to come there and bash and bash anybody's MC or bash anybody individual. What we're going to do is we're going to come and bring a different uh, dynamic. Nikita, what's up, man? My man Nikita on here. I got a question for you too, Nikita, to see if you can help me answer it. At what point, and I've been doing my research on this, and I'm telling you I've done extensive research on this. At what point did it become an issue with women wearing MC on their patches? Me personally, I'm going to tell you, y'all know i got to keep it 100. Me personally, I feel like it's just a territorial thing. I feel like it's something that... What up with you? I'm good, daddy -o. I feel like, me personally, I feel like it's something that whatever region you were part of, mainly, mainly down south, I believe that it was something that they came up with to kind of lower it over the females or to, to try to separate it. Because I'm going to tell you this, and this is just my personal opinion now, and everything I say is based on my own personal opinion. I believe, and I'm telling you this, nobody can show me the difference between a female MC and a female motorcycle club. So I believe that spelling Motorcycle Club out, to me, really is a waste of time. It really has no relevance or no bearing on the set. It doesn't make a difference. If they're motorcycling, they're MCing. If they're MCing, they're motorcycling. So what's the difference between a female MC and a female Motorcycle Club? And my man Nikita's on here. He's a, you know, he's a high-ranking official in his department <laughs> where he's from. So I'm going to see if he can answer me this. Or anybody else can, can help me answer that. Craig, what up? Timothy, what up? Derek, what up? Jason, what up? Mike Robinson, what up? Oh. Um, Donna Turner, law, uh, my man LV, what up? Tracy Antone, what's up, Miss Tracy? Love you, sis. Another one, another great out of Houston, man. Another great. Tracy Antone is another great out of Houston. Another, uh, you know, true thing. One of the things I want to talk about this morning, and again, a lot of my videos, you need guys, if you haven't been keeping up with me, that's because I've been on YouTube. I'm getting away from the Facebook lives. I'm doing this one this morning to just answer a couple of questions. But I'm getting away from a lot of the Facebook Live. I'm on YouTube. If you go to my YouTube channel, FHO Atlanta GA, you can see a lot of the videos and a lot of stuff i talked about, and I'm able to talk about it freely without having the, the, the bull crap. Mike Robinson, what up? Charles Dobbin, what up? Gerald Benson, what up? Pamela McPrime Time, what's up? So that's been one of my issues. Nobody can tell me the difference between a female MC and a female motorcycle club. That's number one. Number two... I've been, I've been asking the question of, of how or why does it matter who blesses you in? If back in the day, before we had any of these councils and before we had any of the, you know, the motorcycle groups or whatever we had, before then, what you had to do was you had to come on the set, you had to get to know everybody, 
you know, and had whatever. And then you had to go to your local OMC. I don't even know if they were calling them dominance at that time, but you had to go to whatever whatever OMC that you had built a relationship with, and you had to go to them to get the education, to be introduced properly, for the phone calls to be made, to check on your background, and to, to do everything else that you needed to do in order to become a club. I don't know at one point that got lost or, you know, that got transitioned into now you go to the council. What I mean, maybe maybe the OMCs got tired of not knowing people or people using, I don't know. But at some point it got watered down and it got lost. Good morning, Roy. I mean, Ray. Juanita, Donna, Simone, Rob, Rick Chitton, Clarence Carter. So my thing of it is, is that if a OMC is the hierarchy of the land and what up Corey what up if, if an OMC which is Outlaw Motorcycle Club is the hierarchy of the land then who is all this what is all this other stuff you know now if that's what the OMC is put in place in your area then it is what it is but for me man the traditional way to me is the best way because it, it kept a lot of things there what's up with it man I, what's going on sir Huh? My grandson. Mm -hmm. Papa, I love you. Okay. Yeah. To me, it kept down a lot of the confusion. Because back in the day, you know that you had to go through somebody. Oh, what up, Donnie? I didn't. I, I must have missed it, Donnie. I'm, I'm, I'm on my thing this morning, Donnie. I'm on my thing. Anyway, it, to me, it kept down a lot of confusion. Where we are now in the motorcycle set this week is crazy. But, hey, it is what it is. So, um, let's do questions and answers this morning. Let's do questions and answers. Let's 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 uh, let's everybody. I know it's and, and, and Merry Christmas to everybody, man. Again, y'all can see my mom's beautiful arrangement. She do her thing when it comes to the ho all holidays. I don't care if it's uh, nigga get out of jail day. She gonna do an elaborate setting. You feel what I'm saying? So that's just what she do. She got plates and bowls and spoons and forks for every occasion. You feel what I'm saying? Hunda, what it do, man, my man, Hunda, and congratulations too, man, on your on your eagle heads. Shout out to the whole rare breed nation. Everybody in rare breed, they have a thing where they give out these awards every year, man. If you got an eagle head at some point in your time as a rare breed, that means you was doing your thing, man. So that's a major shout out to all the eagle head holders. You feel me? Um, Day. Yeah, and happy birthday to the to Randy Hogan. I ain't gonna call him Snowman. I'm gonna call him Randy Hogan. I knew it when he was Randy Hogan. You feel what I'm saying? So shout out to my man Randy Hogan. Yeah, happy happy birthday uh, to my man Randy Hogan. CJ, what up? Um, and that's what that is. Nikita, the motorcycle was to let everyone know that it was a female club and not to get confused as being an all-male club because of the levels of the male club because there was no female clubs or they were not allowed. Okay. So, and this, and again, I thank you for this, Nikita. I thank you, and I meant to call you, but I know you've been busy handling stuff. But I meant to call you, but I, I'm reading this. The motorcycle, meaning the spelling of the word motorcycle club, was to let everyone know that it was a female club and not to get it confused as being an all-male club because of the levels of the male club, because there was no female clubs or they were not allowed. Okay. So, if that be the case, then how does a co-ed club get to rock MC? And they got females in the... So, do the females in the co-ed club have to rock motorcycle and the males rock MC? Because the patch should be one under all circumstances. Okay? The patch should be one for under all circumstances, I'm telling you. And, and to me, that's the issue. But I thank you for that, Nikita. I'm going to use that research. I'm going to add that to my research. Uh, thanks for giving me the motivation and advice needed to start. Hey, man, let, let me tell you something. You was about to ask what, Rob? What were you about to ask, Rob? Ask it now. Um, Hundun, let me tell you something, man. The structure of rare breed is set up so that either you're going to make it or you're not going to make the cut. You only got two choices, to make it or not make the cut. Those are the only two choices. Good morning, Mama. Good morning, Mama. Good morning. Papa, I love you. So that was the, that's the structure of rare breed, or about the co-ed club. That's what I'm saying. That was the structure. That's that is not was. Well, I'm sorry. That is the structure of rare breed. Let me tell you something. 
Rare Breed is going to ask of three things that is, that's mandatory. Rare Breed got three mandatory things. And I can speak on this, although I'm not a Rare Breed, but I'm just telling you what I know. The three mandatory things for Rare Breed. Time, money, and motorcycle. Period. Those are three mandatory things that you got to have to be a Rare Breed. Period. A lot of clubs shy away from things like the word mandatory. You know, when you say mandatory, they don't like mandatory. Oh, man, we don't, ain't nothing mandatory because if I got... No, no, no. Rare breed, don't, they don't shy away from... It. Matter of fact, they embrace and hold high the word mandatory because it's mandatory. And that's for every member, period. Mandatory. And the, and the rules and regulations are severe. So rare breed is set up, huh, Dunn? And I said this to say this. Rare breed is set up for you to become a true motorcycle enthusiast or to have the passion because if you don't have passion for motorcycling then leave Rare Breed alone. I'm telling you that right now. That's my shout out to Rare Breed. Big ups to Rare Breed. Uh, what up Isaac? You know, I ain't forgot your ass about to be a victim of the King Double body snake. Hey, check this out. King Double. What thing about selling is this, man. Y'all can use me however you want to, Double. Use me to, to make the whole entire world laugh. I don't have no problem with it because you know why, Double? Just like you'll make me the victim of the, of the double body snatch, you'll stand there and go toe-to-toe -to -toe with me when it's time for me to get down if I have to get down with anybody. so And you ain't going to let nobody harm me. That's what I do know. So use me to make the world laugh, man. I'm not tripping. If it's funny, I'm going to laugh. If it's a dud, I'm going to clown you, though. If it's a dud, I'm on your head. But if it's funny, we're going to laugh together. <laughs> you said, okay, what you got? Clarence Carter, the M and MC can stand for a man or a motorcycle. I've heard it both ways. As well as me, too, Clarence. I've heard it both ways, too. That's why it's not for everybody. I love it. You got to love it. Darian Thompson, what's up with it? Bruce Tick Perry. Arm, arm Mimi area on some voluntary shit nowadays. Brothers be out yonder every chance they get. Or, yes, you connect. Or, I'm sorry, Tick, re-explain re that Tick. I didn't get it. <laughs> I'm telling you. What up, Mona? I love you, sis. Too Cool H-Town. What up with it, man? That's King H-Town, man. My man King Too Cool out of, out of Houston. One of the one of the uh one of the kings of the south, one of the premier chapters out that way. Um, so let me see. Um Tick, I'm trying to understand your comment, Tick. Are Mimi era on some voluntary shit nowadays? Brothers be out yonder every chance they get. One of the biggest things I just did a video again, you need to go back to my YouTube channel, FH Orlando GA. One of the things I just spoke about was this is that there's two things you need to have before you join a motorcycle club. Two things you need to have. Man, these mandatory two things you need to have before you join a motorcycle club. The number one thing you need to have before you join a motorcycle club is a motorcycle. Period. Period. You can think about, dream about, want to be a part of a motorcycle club all you want to. But if you don't have a motorcycle, then you cannot join a motorcycle club. You should not even attempt to join a motorcycle club. You can hang out, come through, kick it, do all that. But you shouldn't even attempt to want to join a motorcycle club without a motorcycle. That's number one. And the second most important thing is this. I'm going to tell you this. This is so important. And this is what's being lost in clubs taking in members and members wanting to join the motorcycle set or the clubs without having this. The second most important thing in order for you to join a motorcycle club is passion. You've got to have passion for motorcycling. Period. It got to be that important to you to where all you want to do is motorcycle and be around other motorcycle people. You feel what I'm saying? If it's not that important to you, then don't join a club. Just ride your motorcycle. Do what you do. Hang out. Come through. Be an individual. Uh, independent. Right now, I'm an independent rider. I'm no longer Kings of the South. I hang with everybody. I do what I do. But I out motorcycle 90% of y'all. I'm, I'm an independent with, I'm an independent in an MC. I'm an independent MC. I, I think I did, a, I did a, another YouTube video on that. Uh, Independent MCing. I'm independent as MCing. I'm I'm our MC most of you, and that's to Rare Breed too. Most of y'all uh, double uh, all of my brothers that's on here from Rare Breed <laughs> are members. Okay, you said our members. So let me read that again. Our members on some voluntary shit nowadays. Brothers do brothers be out yonder every chance they get. Okay, I got it. It makes sense. Uh, Ace Williams, what up? William C. Smith, Rob Pebbles, Tanya Turner, what up? 
Queens in the South, Birmingham. What's up with it, uh, Tanya? And motorcycle and commitment. I'm telling you, passion. The hell with commitment. Passion. Because if you got passion, whatever you got your passion into, you're going to commit to. If your passion is, is your family, you're going to give them all your, your best time. See, put it like this. You can have commitment and all you're going to do is what you're supposed to do. But when you got that passion, it's going to be the best part of you. You're going to give them the best part. Uh, exactly, Ramona. Motorcycle, that's right. Uh, Ricky Will, what up? Terrence Dickens, what up? Juanita L. Shaw, Ramona, and now they're not doing it because others do it. Again, passion. My passion for motorcycling, I'm telling y'all right now, all of, all of my partners that's on here, I'm going to blow you out the water every chance I get the motorcycle because that's my passion. Um, Cedric Dwayne, Ricky Will. Good morning. What up, Rick? Shout out to my man Ricky Will, the SOS Series uh, founder, doing his thing. I'm proud of you, nephew. Man, I love you guys. If you haven't checked out the SOS Series, go to my man Ricky Will page and check out the SOS. If you're in the sounds on a motorcycle, uh, what they do to these sounds on these bikes is amazing. I'm going to tell you something. I don't care what nobody says. I'm going to make this statement right here on Facebook Live. You do not have music on your motorcycle if your license plates don't say Philly. If you ever anywhere in the world and you got music on your motorcycle and a motorcycle pull up next to you at Philadelphia Place, please turn it off and save yourself the headache. Please. I'm just telling you right now. Save yourself the headache, man. What up, Sid? Dara Michael... You don't need passion. Just get your boys and start your own club. The set will embrace. <laughs> there go Bruce being funny. Well, th that's the thing. The set has gotten so watered down and so commercialized that we'll accept anybody. Because you know why you'll accept them? Because you want their 10, 15, 20, 25, 30, 40, and or 50 dollars at your event. So you're not going to question their motorcycle skills or their, or, their, or their passion or their integrity. You're not going to question none of that. Just give me the money, come on and have a good time when it's over, get out. Because that's what the segment came down to. The segment came down to who can have the biggest anniversary, who going to make the most money. You feel what I'm saying? And this is no, and this is no cut to those, to those clubs, Kings of the South, Rare Breeze, Second and None, uh, uh, Kings of Cali. Uh, this is no slap. And whoever else I forgot, I'm sorry, some female clubs doing their thing. Uh, some other club, my man uh, Cobras, um, my man up in uh, up in uh, Tennessee, uh, up in Tennessee, they do their thing. My man up there, I forgot. Uh, anyway, no, no, not not pound for pound too, but my other boys them up there, Egyptian Cobras. Anyway, they they host big events. DT Mob in Dallas, they host big events. So this ain't no shout out to y'all, but the set on a whole has become so watered down and so commercialized with give me your money. It's it's the gimme set. They didn't got rid of the MC. For GM, give me. You know what I'm saying? That's what it is. Give me. It's the give me set. Come on in, pay this $10, $15, $20, and go on about your business. Um, so that's what the set that became about. All right? So we need to get back to, you know, where motorcycle is motorcycling. What if you had to do an anniversary and it was all free? What if, what if, what if we took it back to traditional ways where your anniversary, the whole weekend was free? Everything you laid out was for was for the people that mess with you and the people that you mess with. What if we go back to that? Then would you allow these people that you don't even know, would you allow these people that you don't mess with into your anniversary if you had to pay for them to be there? Yeah, that's something to think about. Um, you don't need passion. Uh, Carl Jones, Fabian, Dimitri Anderson. You got to be invested in your club, not just vested. Hey, Clarence, I like that. Uh, Carrie, Carrie Hagens, what up? Christy Love, explanation of passion versus commitment. Love it. Thank you, Christy. Ricky with Uncle, tell them to turn that music up and no FHO fast holidays only. I'm telling you, man. They don't want no problems. Hey, hey nephew, they don't want no problems, man. <laughs> I'm just telling I'm telling you some real stuff. If your license plate don't say Philly, turn it down. I know what I'm going to do. If I got my music playing and I pull up next to a motorcycle that got Philly on it, yeah, my, my, I'm going to just turn mine off and say myself, the total embarrassment. Mine don't say Philly, and I'm, I'm, and I'm damn sure rocking. Now you stop that shit. Hey, hey, Mona, I'm just telling you. This is what I'm telling you, sis. Them boys in Philly, that boy Ricky Will now, that boy uh, uh, Manu Ali and, uh, and Squeak, all them. Listen, leave them brothers alone when it comes to music. I'm telling you what I know, sis. I love you to death. I tell you like this, Mona. Keep on playing with them boy. They're going to make you pop your fingernails off. <laughs> and we all know how Mona like her fingernails. 
Uh, let's see. Candace, Bruce. Watered down ice cubes, no chaser. Hey, man. That's right. Passion motorcycle license safety bylaw. I ain't even worried about the motorcycle license and the safety bylaws. Because if you got passion, see, this is the thing about passion. Passion going to cover all that. Because anybody that's passionate about it going to have everything they need to do what they need to do. The right way. And now, just for example, if you're passionate about being a D-boy, then guess what? You're going you're gonna to make sure you got the best product. You're going to be on the best corner. You feel what I'm saying? And you're going to be doing, you know, giving out the best deals. <laughs> so anything you got passionate about, it's going to be that. You ain't got to worry about having a license and because they're going to have all that because they don't want no issues. Uh, I ain't shutting Mystical down because if it ain't live, it ain't me. Well, do your thing, sis. Ramona, we can get your registration switched on. <laughs> Rare Breed is not a club to join just because of your popularity. We will not let you fake it. You will make it up to be... You will, Trust me, I, I said that. I don't care who you is. Real breed ain't having it. And a lot of other clubs ain't having it. I don't want y'all to think I'm picking on anybody else. You know, this Facebook, so people get it, getting their feelings on Facebook, I'll be reported later on because didn't, you didn't like what I said. So, But anyway, shout out to my man, period. Because that ain't never going to happen. There was no females in the clubs. They were old ladies. And this is back to my man, Nikita. We're getting back to the question What's the difference between a female MC and a female motorcycle club? So he's explaining that because I've been doing extensive research on that. And what I found from everybody I talked to, from the whites to the blacks, it was never a situation. That was something, and I'm going to say it like this, and, I, and please don't, 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 don't take it. Females having to, rock, having to spell out motorcycle clubs was something that was created by us blacks. It had nothing to do with the origins of motorcycling. Because I don't care what you say. There is no difference between a female MC and a female motorcycle club. The rules don't change. How you deal with them is how you're supposed to deal with them according to the rules of motorcycling. Motorcycling doesn't have gender rules. There are no gender bylaws in motorcycling. For example, you can't find bylaws for a female club that's different for a male club. The bylaws, the standards of motorcycling is supposed to be the same across the board. So the rules, so for example, when you pull forward into a clubhouse, I don't care if you're female or male, that rules apply. I don't care who you are, the rules apply. So that was my issue, and that's what I've been trying to find. But the only thing I can come up with is it's all based on region, territory, and 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 wh whoever is, is governing that particular area is where it started from. But the whites definitely say that it started, it's a black thing, it ain't a white thing. So um co ed clubs came about on the 99% side because guys couldn't leave their old ladies or wives out of their clubs. It was either the wives were in the club or you were, or, and, and I agree. I totally agree. I, that was my consideration at one time when I joined the regulators because it was I was able to join with me and Queen. So I totally agree with that. Um, but I'm going to tell you this too though. At, at right Then and even now, Queen has rode with me more places than anybody else. Queen got more miles on home motorcycles than most of you cats got. You feel what I'm saying? So that was my road dog. Period. So why wouldn't I want to be in a club with Queen when she ride out there riding? Queen had been to California on a motorcycle three times. Back and forth. You feel what I'm saying? She done it on a soft tail when it wasn't even popular. We, we was going to California when it wasn't even popular. Period. We was doing that way back then. Y'all just got on getting yonder. We have been getting yonder. Queen got yonder on a soft tail. You hear me? I'm telling you. Yeah, she got on a soft tail heritage. Queen went cross there, man. She, uh, it wasn't pretty. I ain't going to say it was pretty because she acted a plump damn fool and I ain't know who she was. And, and I, that's the story where I told y'all Snowman set me up and fake 42 faked on me. Yeah, so we, we got a hell of a lot of memories. But I'm just saying, at that time, that was my understanding because I wanted to be on the road with somebody and Queen was the only person that could ride with me at the time. So that's why I joined the regulators. Shout out to the regulators. One of the, one of the baddest co-ed clubs that's in existence. Let me see. Candace, what up? Same man, Jerome Savage, Christy Love, Albert Clark. I'm going to turn my shit to do your thing. I'm not in an MC, but I dig the set. Like anything, it's pros and cons. If we just con concentrate on what we love, motorcycles, things may run smoother. That's what it is. Gracias. I got I got to, uh, I got to, uh, interpret that one. I got to reinterpret that. Sharita, what are you? Just called me. I, just, uh, I was on live. So, okay, I got you. You say Philly money rob ain't no joke and I'm from Jersey. I got you. 
I got you. Money Rob, shout out to my man Big Money Rob out there in the Bay Pali Alto doing his thing. I promise you he doing his thing. And for the money that you're going to spend, Rob is doing his thing. But I'm telling you, Big Money Rob, and I'm going to say this, is my man. You can call him and tell him Sale said this. He can't mess with uh, that boy Ricky Will. He can't. I said it. If you're doing a bike and your and your and your premier purpose for doing a bike is music, if your premier pur purpose for doing a bike is music, you can't mess with that boy Ricky Will. Now they putting it down. I'm just it is what it is. I said it. I'm stamping it. Approved. Done. If I do a bike and it's strictly about music, Philly is where I'm gonna be at. Uh, so again, shout out to my man Big Money Rob. It goes back to what you said. My nails are my passion, and I'm always. <laughs> How about <clears throat> Ramel? This ain't the place for that that garbage you talking about, buddy. You know, feel diamond clusters, MC. What they do, Serena? Bring money, Rob, across the water to Philly. We will see. Don't worry, I just told you. Hmm. Lisa Maddox, Ronnell Black, Fred, Trey Taylor, Jersey Rider, Keisha Jackson. Exactly, bro. I remember, and it wasn't pretty for her. I'm telling you, Mike Q. Goodall, my wife and I are in a co-ed club, and she pushed as many miles as I do. Again, so Mike, do you guys rock on your club? Do you rock MC or do you rock motorcycle club? I want to know that. Uh, Alan Sanders, what it do, Sal? DJ Rec, what up? Zenobia, uh, this is not this is not for you. Oh, okay. <laughs> Valen, Valen Laurie, as a woman, I believe if you were in an MC club, Women need to be understand it's a man's world. That is, if they, if the MC is outlaw. Understand this. See, th this this is what I, this is the problem I have. Okay. The motorcycle set has what they call time warped. It has went from what it used to be to what it is now, and the problem with what it used to be and what it is now is totally totally different because now women have fought. You know, for their rights, women have stepped up. Women have taken control. You know, women have done so many. They've they've made so many different progresses that you can't keep them out. You got women out here with bigger and badder bikes than men. You got women's rocking CBO. You got women's with all dressed motorcycles. They spending just as much guap as we spending. They ride just as hard as we ride. They had you know they doing their thing and holding their own. I ain't talking about you know they doing their thing. So back in the day, like Nikita said, that was unheard of for you to be on the highway and see a female out there getting it in. You feel what I'm saying? But now, now, if you get on the highway right now, man, you're going to see them doing their thing. So you have to make allowances for the times, for the transition. Because just like everything else, just, just like, for example, I can remember when a Snicker was 25 cents. I can remember that. My mom said she remembered, my dad and mom remember when a Snicker was 5 cents. And it was bigger then. You had more chocolate and more caramel and all that. Now they're giving you less chocolate, less caramel, and you're paying a dollar twelve. You feel me? So <laughs> times have changed. You have to make allowances for times inflation and everything else that's going on. So now I'm not saying that we have to revise the set, but you got to do an addendum. We have to do an addendum and accept the addendum for the old motorcycle rules from then to now. There is an addendum. You have to do an addendum to the old bylaws, to the old ways, to now. And, and this is another thing. The biggest thing about the set that has changed, and I'm going to tell you this, is this, is that we have went from boys to men, from, from, um, from girls to women. And I'm going to tell you this. This is the biggest thing, and I want you all to hear me. There is never a time that you can tell another grown man or another grown man what to do. They will do whatever it is that they decide to do that they want to do. And especially in today's time, be prepared for consequences and be prepared for your actions. Every For every action, there's a reaction. See, the difference is back then, you know, it was only men it was only adult. The motorcycle set was for adults only. Okay? And I mean, you know, a, a adults, adults, adults only. Now you got everybody in motorcycle set. But the difference is the discipline level has changed. 
the 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 moniker of the of the man or the woman has changed. You got a lot of little kids that can afford stuff now. You feel what I'm saying? Back in the day, even if you was a child of a kid, back in my era, I don't care how much money I had, I still had to go ask my mom and dad, could I buy it? Or could I have it? You feel what I'm saying? Until I became an adult where I can get on my now you got kids now, you know, telling their mama what they done bought and what they done brought in the house and hey mama go take me to go get this. You ain't asking, you just telling. So it, it's it's been a whole change and the whole entire demographic and lifestyle, as it, it, every generation, this generation that we got before us is out of control. I'm just telling you, it's out of control. Let's see. So that's to you, Valerie. What up, uh, Nasty, my man, Kevin Rick, Donald Turner. I have some people say to me, MC gang, and that's when I have to straighten them out. Let me tell you something. I, I made that mistake one time without giving an explanation. The motorcycle set is a gang. Okay, a gang. But it's a gang of people, not a gang as in a, a criminal organization or cr doing criminal activity. So where I come from, we had families that were gang. The Johnsons, the, 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 the us, the Turners. The, it was a gang, man. Was, don't mess with them, man. It's a gang of them. You know what I'm saying? You're going to get jumped on by a gang of them. Sisters, brothers, aunties. So when I say, when I make the gang connotation, please understand this. It's not in criminal negativity or, or or anything like that. It's just me. When I say gang, I mean a bunch of them. It's just so the motorcycle set is a gang of people. It's a gang of a gang. Your motorcycle club is a gang of y'all. Period. So that's what I mean. So please understand and accept that correction. Um, can can you make a video on independent rules? Because a lot of people don't know. I just did, Darren. Go to my YouTube channel, FHO Atlanta GA, and I just did a real good video on being independent, being an independent MC. All right. Shout out to all the ground pounders who have music and still get yonder. Peace, Unc. I got you, Rick. I got you, nephew. Al Pearson. What up? Jerome Taz. What up, Taz? Second to none, one of the greatest. Mike Q. What up, <laughs> MC? Big shout out to ATL MC. There it is there, man. Michael Fisher. Charlene Swift. What up? Tommy Lassiter. Love your videos. I've learned a lot from you. Big stuff. Keep doing what you do. Thank you, Tommy. The ladies are doing the bid. They, you can't deny them. You can't. Anybody that's out here trying to deny that what the ladies are doing, you crazy. I promise you. I promise you. It's almost, I'm not going to say, I'm going to tell you right now, the females have have, have gained at least 30% of the set. It's 70-30 right now. I give you 70-30. And that's all across the world from California to Maine, 70-30. And that's just the blacks that we know of. We ain't talking about the whites because them, them females, you know, on, on other other races, so I ain't going to say whites. I'm going to say other races. I'm just talking about the black race, the Afro-American, the Negroes, whatever y'all, you know, I, you know, some of y'all don't, don't like to be called Afro-American. So blacks, um, uh, Negroes, whatever you want to be called, it is what it is. But you, I'm, I'm only referring to what I know of in my race, okay? Renita, Denise Stokes, what up, Denny? Time always brings about a change, but sometimes change ain't good. It's like you wish you wanted the whole hog, and now you wish you had the pig. But you got to respect history in order to appreciate today's today so we can never forget where it started from because the history and it was and I understand this and I'm in totally agreement with you sis on that that's from my sister Ramona Davis all I'm saying is that history has to have an addendum okay even right now you're seeing where the laws have to be rewrote because the laws are outdated you feel what I'm saying but now understand this when they come to get your ass they're going to use that old law they're they going to go way back to the old law and that's what they're going to use to 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 get you on this new crime or this new time or this new era. But it's the same thing with the motorcycle set. All I'm saying is this, is that you go you went from not having women allowed to ride to not only women being allowed to ride, but they're being allowed to coexist in co-ed clubs with men. And they're being allowed to have their own club, their own voice. They're being allowed to make their own way. So you have to ha add an addendum to the old rules. So my question was, for those of you just now tuning in, what is the difference between a female motorcycle club and a female MC? There is no difference, period. We can say that it was started back in the day to, to differentiate, to, to let people know, okay, this is a female club or this is a male club. But at the end of the day, what does it matter? The respect is to be given to any MC, period. Female, male, co-ed, transgender, bisexual, trisexual. I don't care. If they got MC on their back, they're supposed to be respected. Uh, they're supposed to have a certain level of respect given to them regardless. So to me, and, and it's, again, these are just my opinion, just my views. Um, that was Ramona. What up, Scrib? I mean, oh, no, that's Denise. Okay, Valerie. 
Yes, I've been in this in this life for over 40 years. It's not about riding, my brother. Women are riding. It's about the, the deepness of being an outlaw. Like women should not be involved in the intricacies in the intric I'm sorry, intricacies of the outlaw world. Um, Donna, we're right now I'm talking to 99 percenters. I'm not even talking to OMCs because I don't have no I can't speak on OMCs. All I'm saying is that a lot of things have been made so serious in the 99 percent world that it's crazy to me. Okay? It's crazy to me because understand this. You don't want me to reign in your world, but you want to reign over my world. Hear what I'm saying? I'm bigger and badder than you, but you, I need you who has not made the transition to be bigger and badder to play by my bigger and badder rules. And hear me, okay, hear me when I say this, because I don't want you to get confused. What I'm saying is this. What do I have? How do I have a problem with a junior high school doing junior high school stuff and I'm in high school or college? He's supposed to be doing junior high school stuff. It ain't that serious for him yet. He in junior high school, he having fun. Once he get to high school, he might slow down a little bit. By the time he get to college, he need to be serious or he going to fail. Period. So that's all I'm saying. And I hope, I hope these analogies are helping you guys with what I'm saying. What I'm saying is that a lot of people, a lot of people should not be worried about Stuff that's beneath them. If it's beneath me, I'm not even worried about it. Let's see. I got somebody want to come on camera. Who is this? I got a couple of people I think that requested to come on camera. Tag. Oh no, that's tag, tag, tag. Um, tag, 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 tag. Okay. All right. Yeah. Anybody want to come on camera with me um, and be invited on this discussion? Kathy, what up, Ronald? Aunt Kim Folk, HD Choppers, what up? Lynn Hudson, Nikita. To start off sale, get rid of the 80-20 rule. 100% on bikes, period. Even if you are not physically able to ride, you still need to own one. Let me tell you something. <laughs> I am 1,000% in agreement. If something happened in my life, and I'm going to tell you all this on camera. If something happened to me financially, physically, mentally, my passion or whatever dwells, I'm going to get out of it. Mean, I'm not in the club now, so it don't really matter. I'm going, I'm going to get out of a club and just independent. Because if you get to the point to where you're having financial problems, if you get to the point to where you lose your motorcycle, then you ain't giving a damn about no motorcycle club. You should be trying to get your life right. You should be trying to get back on point with your life. You feel what I'm saying? Motorcycling is a lifestyle. It's not a hobby. It's only a hobby for an independent rider. If you are in a motorcycle club, then motorcycling can't be a hobby for you. It's a It should be a lifestyle. If you have MC on your back, motorcycling should be a lifestyle. It can never be a hobby. If it's a hobby, you should be an independent rider. Or you should join a hobby club, an RC. Period. I'm just telling you some real stuff. You cannot have MC on your back and still claim that it's, oh, it's just a hobby for me, man. This ain't that serious. Well, then you need to leave it alone then, player, because you, you're messing up the game. You feel what I'm saying? You're destroying the game. It's a difference. You don't join a motorcycle club because you like to ride. You join a motorcycle club because you love to ride. It's just that simple. Hear me when I tell you this. That's the problem with the bike set. You got people who like to ride, join the motorcycle club, and you messing up the club. Because a person that likes to ride ain't going to do everything that they're supposed to do as opposed to the person that loves to ride. Period. A lot of y'all clubs need to do a reevaluation, and you need to check if, for, like this. Everybody said, well, Sil, you, you always saying, you always saying, you know, that, you know, it seems like you always beat up the people that got a job because you don't have a job. I do got a job. I just don't got the kind of job that you got. But I'm going to tell you like this. If you work 60 hours a week and you ain't got time to motorcycling, what are you in a club for? If you work 70 hours a week and you ain't got a time for motorcycling, what are you in a club for? If you got 40 hours of work week and then you got a hell of an extensive family, a lot of stuff going home at home, at home in your family life, what is you in, in an MC for? Just being independent, man, and come through and hang out and kick it because understand this. Understand this. The set is there for those who have the time, the passion, the effort, and the energy to motorcycle. It ain't there for those who want to just conveniently dibble and dabble. That's not what the set is there for. And that's what's wrong with the set. We got too many people dibbling and dabbling on the set instead of instead of having a passion and a true love for motorcycling. And I'm telling you, you're messing up the motorcycle club and you motorcycle clubs. 
quit letting people in your club because you need to fill a, a space because you want to appear deep. Because I'm going to tell you like this, <clears throat> from rare breed on down, they may have a hundred members. You, your club, rare breed, kings of the south, second and none, since, I, since I'm there, I want to name everybody, all the big five, the big five clubs, we're all over the world. They're going to have a hundred members. You feel what I'm saying? The roster might say 100, but they only got 20, maybe 25 true members that's riding, on, that's riding every day on a, on a constant basis. So you don't need the bodies to have, to have numbers. My thing of it is this. Understand this. If you like to MC, be an independent or join an RC. Once you go from like it, it's just like a, a, a relationship. Oh, maybe, baby, you cool. I like you. I like you. Once you fall in love with it, then what you do? You marry it, right? You make a total commitment to be together every day, live together, eat together, sleep together, put your money together. When you liking each other, we ain't sharing no bank account. I might come through and spend a night a couple of nights, you know what I'm saying? But I'm doing me. And if I don't like you, guess what I can do? Bounce. You can bounce. I can. When, you, when you like somebody, you got choices. When you love somebody, you take it to the next level and you marry them. Your choices are slim because now you're going to get a divorce, lose every half your stuff, the whole nine yards. It's more of a commitment. That's the difference on the motorcycle. You feel what I'm saying? I'm telling you some real stuff now. Let me get to this. That's right. What's up? What up, uh, Shoppers? It's not just a man's world. This isn't Ike and Tina MC. You will find women are more knowledgeable than many men. It's called having respect for each other. Huh? Shout out to Juanita Shaw. They get the MC thing from... Originally, when the motorcycle club was started, from the research that I've done, it was started because a group of men got together and wanted to have some stuff outside, of, away from their families, away from their job. So they got together as men and created this motorcycle club, men's club, blah, blah, blah. So that's where that comes from, Juanita. Lynn Hudson Brown showing up. Eric Morris, James. What do you think about a person that quits the MC and then wants to return after a couple of months? If I have to walk away... In order to, to protect the integrity of the club or myself, if I have to walk away to get my business in order and my affairs right so that I can effectively MC, then I'm going to walk away. I'm, I'm telling you what I'm going to do. If I get to the point where I can't afford to MC, I'm going to stop MCing. If I get to the point where my passion loses, I lose my passion, I'm going to stop MCing. I know my brother's got my, oh man, we got you. Just Okay, and I can still do that, but I'm not going to, see, this is my thing. The rules are the rules for everybody, not just one person, two people, three people. The rules are the rules. And if the rules say we have to do this, this, and this, you don't get a pass on the rules. You don't get excused off the rules because you got a financial situation. Oh, well, still, that sounds harsh. You, you, you wrong. No, sir, because if I'm in a financial situation, I got to start cutting shit loose to get better on my finances. I'm not going to be homeless to motorcycle. I'm not going to lose my job to keep my motorcycle. You, you, you feel what I'm saying? I'm not going to do that. So my motorcycle is going to get put on hold. And I'm going to concentrate on my job, concentrate on my home. I'm going to concentrate on my finances. Because without finances, you can't motorcycle. Period. I'm telling you that right now. I, 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 me being one of the brokest cats on the set that made it look, you know, I done made looking broke, being broke look good. But you can't motorcycle and be broke at the same time. It ain't going to happen. So you have to get your priorities. So if a dude stepped away to get his priorities in order, and now they straight and he come back, then that's that. But see, the problem is he most likely, his pride would let him come to you and say, hey, man, right now, financially, I'm just going through it, man. You know, I got some stuff at the house, you know, some other stuff going on. And financially and mentally, and, and right now, my passion is not there. So I just need to step away from right now. And once I get it back together, I'm going to come back. Most likely he didn't say that, so you didn't understand it. And also, you got to watch these cats here, too. Because I'm telling you, I'm finna, listen, you're going to hate me when I tell you this. Y'all know damn well y'all got members that leave and only come back for the anniversary. Anniversary time? Oh, you see, oh my goodness, nigga. You, you see the other 60 members that's on the roster that you ain't seen all year long. Anniversary time? Or you got them 70 degree riders. If it's 70, 75 outside, they're they going to ride their motorcycle. If, it, if it's absolutely sunny, it's going to be a nice warm day. They can put on their cool little outfit, look cool, and be on their motorcycle. They're going to ride their motorcycle. But if it's 68, 67, with 10%, 15% chance of rain, yeah, you ain't going to see them. Y'all uh, got a bunch of them in your clubs, man. I'm telling you that right now. Y'all know, know I'm telling y'all some real shit now. I'm telling you. Y'all got a bunch of them in your club. 
Um, so that's my issue with that, James. If he if he left the club, man, to get his stuff together, I mean, I would allow him back in if that's how he left. Charlie Parker, T Light, what up? Glamel Kelly, Lady Rider here. Good morning. Thank you, Glamel. Uh Chuck Mesgrove, but I love women who ride. There are many female clubs out there. I'm only talking about the true outlaw MC. And I got you, Valen. Thank you, baby. The ladies look sexy on them hogs. Hope I can ride with y'all. <laughs> That's my man, Tick, man. Bobby Boucher, what's up with it, baby? Okay, okay, my brother. I was talking about 1%, so I apologize. No, 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 I don't need to apologize because we need that side of it. You have it, I don't have it. One thing about me, I'm not, a, I'm not ashamed to tell you that I can't speak on something that I don't know. If I don't have the knowledge, I'm not going to act like I do. I'm not going to fake like I do. And everything I tell you, it can be debatable. Uh, and it can be questioned. But when you tell me I'm wrong, please have the right answer. That's all I'm saying. When you tell me I'm wrong, please have the right answer. Okay. Uh, Sirot, Roderick, what a dude. My man, Daryl Kent, what up? Valerie Long, yes, I'm with you. 99% is changing and the 1% should deal with it. Hey, I disagree with that though, Valerie. I disagree with that. The 1%ers the used to have a role. Uh, the 1%ers used to have a, a major role in the 99 percenters, okay? A lot of that has changed now because they got these so-called councils. The problem I got with most of the councils is that you got people on the council, number one, that are not riding motorcycles, that are not respected in the MC, that that people don't even know. And, and nine times out of ten, they don't know how to talk to nobody because once they're given a position, the position overpowers them. That's just my personal. And again, these are my opinions. The old 99%, the, uh, the way it used to be, yes, the one percenters, the one percenters did their thing and never dealt with us at all. They never had a reason to deal with us because when you went to them, they set your ass down. You did what they asked you to do. They were comfortable enough with you, to, and they were comfortable with the fact that you were going to do what you were going to do, and they and they gave you a blessing, and that was it. That was it. They had their world. We had our world. Now, both worlds intertwined, and everything is so scary, and, and now everybody walking on eggshells. But, but. If you get back to respecting men as men and women as women, a lot of things just may change. All right? And Ramon, Asian Chopper, Dirty be saying the same shit. <laughs> hey, some clubs are just for fashion. We trust and believe we know that. We know we know a lot of fashionable cats on, on motorcycles. Red Rogue Glide, real fat. Kenneth J. I'll be Ryan Kenneth Idleberg. What up? Ryan Haas. Why should the one percenters deal with the chain with the change in the ninety nine percent community? And, and I just said that, Tick. That's the same thing I just said. Um, there's really no need for them. If you say we're not in your lane, then we're not in your lane. If you say that, you know, only the only time you should deal with the ninety nine percent is when they cross into your lane. Period. That's it. If I don't cross into your lane, then why is you why is you why is you in my lane? That's like I told you. That's like a college. That's like a college basketball player. Coming down to the high school court or the junior high school court to dunk. You're going you're gonna to leave the 10-foot rim and come down to the 8-foot rim, and now you think you're a superstar. Hey. Ryan House Lee. That's right. It's in your blood to ride in this stays. Rob Wheeler. Amen, amen. Bobby Steele. Basically tired of posers. You need to be. Tony Snow, what up? Tamika Moore. Angela Watson. Tony Snow. Bruce Tick. What y'all I don't know. I don't I got so far. Tybo, top of the morning. What up, Ty, Ty, uh, Ty Debo? Montez Williams, what up? You're speaking the truth. Always. That's all I'm going to ever do is speak the truth. I'm only going to speak what I know, and what I know I know, and it can't nobody take that from me. And that's, yeah. You know. Jared, what up? Lee, Daedra, Dina, Erica D. What up, Erica? Good. Red Rose, Ty Debo, real talk. Every MC, this is my man Q Hog Rad, another ground pounder. When he speaks, you need to listen. He rides his motorcycle. And of course, Reverie. Every MC is not a ground pounding, cross country pounding club. That's what makes the set unique and diverse, not only in ethnic and color, but also in being socially active and community oriented. And that's what I said. Again, a lot of this stuff that I'm saying, you can go back to my videos on my YouTube channel, FHO Atlanta GA. Make sure you subscribe, hit the bell so you can be notified when I go live. I'm doing this live on Saturday only because a lot of people ask me to do it, but a lot of this stuff is already on my YouTube channel. But in one of my, on one of my YouTube channels, on one of my videos, I tell everybody just like this. You have to pick the right club for you. You, you have to take the time 
and find out what club for you is the club you want to be a part of. If you don't want to ride every, if you just want to kick it and socialize, they got kicking and socialized clubs. If you just want a weekend ride, they got weekend riding clubs. If you just want to look good whenever you want to look good, then they got I want to look good clubs. You need to find the club that's best for you and get in it and stay in that lane. The problem that I got with a lot of y'all is this. Is that you talk ground pounding and you want to be in a ground pounding conversation, but you're not a ground pounder. So get out of my lane. Don't don't come talk to sell if you ain't talking about riding your motorcycle or you ain't talking about protocol or rules or ethic or morals or, or passion. Do your thing. I'm, understand this. Us that have the passion are not mad about the people that don't have the passion. We just want y'all to get y'all ass away from us. If we motorcycling and you're not motorcycling, get your ass over there. We cool. You know what I'm saying? Understand, understand what level of MC you want to do and do it. Understand what level of passion you have and, and, and follow it. You feel what I'm saying? Understand that. Just like, he, like, like Q Hall, right? there's different types of club for every different type of person that's out there on a motorcycle. You need to take your time and find that club. Don't just join a club, number one, because of your homeboy. Number one, because of your homeboy. Number two, because, oh, man, when they pulled up, did you see when they pulled up at TGI Friday? Boy, they was on point. I'm going to be a part of that because you want that attention. You want that recognition. No. No. What you see seeing is only what you see. You're not seeing all the hard work, sweat, and tears that was put in to get to the point to what you saw. So find you a club that fits you. Take your time. Find a club. But be independent. If it was up to me. I don't know. I would probably come over the rule where you got to be on the set for two years before you can even start prospecting for a club. Me personally, I don't, you know, it's just me being me. But we need to at least see you. I need to at least know who you is. Oh, who is that? Oh, that's Big Cell. He in the club? No, nah, he been out here though. He been doing his thing. He been riding. Okay. So then when I get ready to come to the club, you already got at least some type of sense of who I am or what I've been doing. If I'm riding or not riding, if I'm a weekend warrior, if I'm a fashion show warrior, whatever. You at least have some kind of understanding. Thank you for that, Q Hall. Donna Turner, I've been in clubs that don't want to go nowhere, and I like to travel, so I was out there by myself, traveling out, meeting beautiful people on the set. Been there, done that, little sugar. Understand this, I got a favor saying. I'm going to say it right now for y'all. If I had a waited on people to ride with me, y'all wouldn't even know who I was. If I had a waited on anybody and different people that said they were going to ride with me to ride, y'all wouldn't have never met me. I wouldn't have the 80 plus thousand miles on my 2015 if I had to wait it on people to ride. Again, that's the passion. Find your passion, get in where you fit in and do your thing. Okay? Um, Zarek, you could always take a leave of absence for a while if you're having financial problems. And you should be able to. You need to. As a man, you need to. That's what you, you must do. You got to respect the member who asks to stop to step away if you have money. You got to, buddy. I mean, and as a president, you know that. So you hit it on the head, bro. Fair weather riders. Okay. Taking a leave of absence is cool, but I have an issue with the word quit. That's what you need to know your brothers and know their family. That's why you need to know. I agree. And again, if you know your club brother, then you're going to understand because it's, He's going to come to you and say, hey, Sal, I'm just, man, right now, I just can't do it, man. My job is telling me if I'm late again or my wife is telling me at home the kids is acting up at school. So I need to put more attention, more energy into my household right now, man, this motorcycle thing. But I don't want to, I don't want to disrespect you and your motorcycle because, see, that's what it's all about. The problem that I have with most members is you want me to motorcycle and you want to live through me. You want to, you want to meet all the females through me. You want me to go out and bring everybody to the clubhouse. And then you just show up at the clubhouse and bam, you get the benefits. Or you want me to go out and represent the club and put the club on the map and put all these miles on my motorcycle while you keep your paint fresh from getting not getting chipped up. You keep your bike clean because it sits in the garage all the time. You feel what I'm saying? But you want me to go out and dirty my bike up, chip my paint up, have to change tires, spend all my money so that you can just sit at the clubhouse. You know, you come through on that, two, that one night a week at the clubhouse or we, we decide to have a little function. You come to the clubhouse and you just reap all the benefits. No, player. You got to get out here and put in the work with me. No excuses. You got on the same thing I got on. You, in the, you promised to do the same thing I said I promised to do. You said you promised to do it. So we need to be out here together. That's my argument. So that's that. We got to get rid of all the puzzles. We got to. And you dance that at everybody's clubhouse smiling and clapping. I'm telling you. 
All the time. All the time. You want to see your members? You want to see how many members you got? Tell them we having a. Tell them we having a. Uh, tell them you having a party. No, better yet, tell them, hey man, the club treating. I'm. We taking everybody to so and so, and we paying for the rooms and the gas. Boy, watch how them work schedules get worked out, huh? Watch how they come off that road from truck driving, huh? Watch how the government gonna let them off for the weekend. Yeah. Watch how the wife gonna let them out the house. Yeah. Watch the watch the kids are gonna say, Daddy, you can go ride your motorcycle. Tell them you treating. Tell them you paying for everything, huh? You want to see your members? Tell them that. Yeah. Understand this. You, 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 you tell them that, you, you'll get to see them. <laughs> uh, yes, sir. Only day I haven't rode was when they talked about ice. That part. Exactly. Watch the waiting on that book, bro. I got to write it, man. Nicole, Nick. Hey, Nicky, Nick. Shalia Kizer is watching. Ryan House, rule number one. Roger, for sure. Cedric Moore, violation, violating traditions and protocol is stepping into the and stepping into their lane. I understand that. Okay. No, 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 no. Violating tradition and protocol is not stepping into their lane because tradition and protocol are being violated every day. No, sir. Their lane has a different set of violation rules, protocols, and traditions. To tradition is tradition. For example, okay, it was tradition that everybody in your house was pimps and, 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 and ex-gang members. You broke the tradition and you're still part of the family, right? Yeah, so... When you say tradition and bylaws and protocols and all that, I understand that. We got that. Those things have to be known in order to be respected. But all I'm saying is that, just like with everything else, there has to be an addendum to the original ways. There has to be an addendum, just like car manufacturers made addendums to what you would allow to do in a car. Back in the day, you could have 210 miles an hour on a dash of your car. Now, the new addendum came out. You can still make the same car. It can still do 210, but you can't put but 120, maybe 160 on it if it's a sports car. I'm telling you some real stuff. But it's still the car will do 210, but the logic of it was was that the reason why they took 210 miles an hour off the, ga off the speedometer was because if a person is drunk and they're illusional, they're going to step the gas and they're going to try to get that whole 210. But when they're drunk and delusional, they only see 110 or 120 or whatever. They're going to get to that, and then they're going to most likely feel like they're giving it all they got. Ah, but it is what it is. Same car, same speed, and addendum to the rules. Ha. Okay. Everett, what up? Dwight Mackey, top of the AM from Houston. What up? What do you think about those peeps that have more money custom than miles on their bike? Understand this. If you're in a custom motorcycle club, then you're in a custom motorcycle club. But if I'm building a custom bike, I'm not building a custom bike to be in an MC. Now, uh, Big Punch and them do it well. They build, Flacco just showed you, Flacco just took a 100,000 mile bike. Uh, Skeeter wants to. Flacco just took a 100,000 mile bike, a $100,000 bike, and just, and just took it all across the world, treated it like it was a regular stock motorcycle. So you can have a custom built bike and still get yonder or whatever. But if you build a custom, if you have a custom built bike for shows, then that's what you need to be doing, bike shows. You don't need to be doing motorcycle, MCN. You need to be doing bike shows. So that's that's my thing on that. Um, big sale. But the OMCs in different regions respect and treat the 99%. Of course, that's everything you do. Your own family. This auntie love you. This auntie can't care less about you. Your mama like you, but your daddy can't stand you. And vice, all of that. So we all know that that's, that just is what it is. Like I said, the rule's different according to regions. You feel what I'm saying? I'm good with all OMCs. From Cass to Wills to Sin City to, uh, uh, what's my, my boy Darn them, uh, Sons of Apollyon to Banditos to Mongols to Chosen Few to Thunder Guards to, uh, to, to all of them. And if I left anybody out, it wasn't on purpose. I'm just saying I'm good all the way across the board. Because number one, I'm a man and I'm going to respect you as a man. I'm going to respect your get down. I'm not trying to be in conversations that I'm not privy to. I'm going to stay in the conversation that apply to my pay grade. Period. It's just that simple. Damon, what up? Okay, Kevin Potter and Tony Taylor. What up, Oakland? Oh, here we go. Please call me when you can, sir. Still have a question. <laughs> business manager, you should bring yourself to Seattle in the summer. Okay, I got you. Uh, Fresh salmon. That's what I'm talking about. Why do so many people be concerned with the one percenters when they can't get the one percenters at their own house to do what they're supposed to do without being told? Okay, I think you're saying, Tony, 
why are you worried about the OMCs when you don't even want to follow the head of your table at your own house? I think that's what you're saying. And and for that, those are the individuals and, and those are people's whatever. Hang with them and respect many of them. I love and admire all women riders, as you should. Uh, what up, Kevin Rambert? QR Rad, you're on point. Thank you, sir. Chris Mosley, I was at one time. Charles Cooper, uh, Dora Jackson, Daryl Kemp, thank you, sir. Lavelle Caldwell, Will Spencer, fact. You all put them, put that on the shirt. Sir. Oh, I will. My new shirt that I got coming out is uh, more miles than excuses. Miles over excuses. You feel what I'm saying? If you got more excuses than you got miles, uh, you don't need to be in the MC. Okay? I have mad love and respect for lone riders, too. You got to. Was the white correct? Let me tell you something. I have established my set, myself on a motorcycle set, whether I'm with colors or without colors. But I do know that there's rules because I don't have colors. I do know that when I get to the front door that I have to pay because those are the rules. The rules say non-vested members need to get patted down and must pay a different price. I have no problem with that. If I come to the anniversary, I understand the rules. I'm going to respect the rules and I'm going to do that. The problem I got, though, is that when you got the rules originally, but now this, again, has to do with time change. Traditional rules stated that you didn't pat down nobody with a motorcycle vest on that came to your clubhouse because whatever club that they were a part of taught them the rules and regulations that you don't go to nobody else's clubhouse with the weapon. You don't take a, a weapon. You don't take your weapon into somebody else's clubhouse. Number two, you don't need a weapon. Three, you have to go there with respect. So even if you see an enemy that you've been looking for for years and you caught him at somebody else's clubhouse, you could do nothing to him. You had to catch him down the block, down the street, and you didn't bring, within a, within a certain radius, you didn't bring no funk to that clubhouse. If you did, at, back in the day, you were dealt with for disrupting the chi, the chi or the, whatever you want to call it, of that or and you were, disrespect, you were disrespecting tradition. So we have gotten away from that because, again, we now allow any and everybody into our clubhouse. Back in the day, if I was an independent rider, which I am, without a vest, either you're, either you're in an MC or you're an independent rider, SCR, whatever. If you don't have one a vest, you're independent. Or you just or, or you are, are a fan of motorcycling. If, if you're a female and hey, your homegirl invited you out. But understand this. In order for your homegirl to invite you, whoever it was that invited her had to co-sign for you and her in order to get in the clubhouse. But now... Give me $10. Give me $15. Give me $20. Come on, come on. We, come on, y'all. Y'all holding the line up. Y'all holding the line up. Come on, man. Everybody, come on, y'all. Get your money out. Get your money up front. Get, get it out. Hey, I'm just telling you, it, it, it is what it is now. Give me, get your money out. You ain't nobody asking, hey, who you know, who you with, none of that. And, and it is what it is. But that's how it used to be back in the day. Um, it's because, hey, that's the worst thing to do is join a club because of your homeboy. Because your homeboy can't save you. Pontese, what up? Nigga, that's sensitive, and y'all know who you are. Don't even belong in an all-male MC. <laughs> hey, Tony, that's you, Tony. Uh, Willie, Ware, what up? Brett Brown, pre Alec. What up, Alec, my cousin Alec LaBelle Carl? What up, Cell? Ponder tell you, Cell, that they just don't get. Hey, man, it is what it is. You can't call yourself a motorcycle rider if you don't have a bike or have a bike that don't ride. Understand this. I just gave you earlier. If you just now joined, I gave you two rules earlier for joining a motorcycle club. These are the only these are the mandatory two rules that you have in order that you have to have in order to join a motorcycle club. Mandatory. Can't do it without it. Mandatory. Motorcycle and passion for motorcycle. Passion incorporates love, all the other stuff in there. If you got the passion, because understand this, whatever you got passion for, they get all your energy, all your time, all your effort. They get your best. Passion brings about the best, whatever you got a passion for. So that was that. Um, uh, Tyler, Hog Life, what up? T Sachs, what MC do you run? I don't. I'm independent, uh, Montez. I'm independent. Right, right, right. Gabriel Pryor, Donna Turner, and my phone cutting off. Dan, okay. Sandra Davis, say it. Kevin Hart, Kevin Rambert, that part. Daryl Smith, what up? Yolanda Hart, you on it, bro? Sharon Higgins, okay. Some club houses are prisons. All bros want to do is smoke, sticks, drinks, and pose. Okay. If that's, understand this. You don't get a, club, a clubhouse for the public. You get a clubhouse for the brothers or the sisters. Because you got females with clubhouses. Shout out to them females that got their own clubhouse. So, 
Inside the clubhouse, yes, I'm supposed to be allowed to do stuff that I can't do in public. That's why I come to the clubhouse. I can't do it at work. I can't do it at home. Let me go down to the clubhouse with my partners them in, and I can do what I basically damn to get out how I want to get out. You, you feel what I'm saying? That was the original purpose of a clubhouse. So we could have somewhere where we could do, come together and do what we want to do, unscrutinized by any other body else, because we all understand, hey, man, whatever it may be, it may be. I ain't saying that it was legal. I ain't saying that you're supposed to go there to do, do whatever. I'm just saying that was the original purpose of a clubhouse was for us to have somewhere away from everybody else that we can get together and do what we wanted to do, period. How I want to do I can't do it at work, can't do it at home. I'm going to come to the clubhouse, man. Get out with my brothers. Here we go. <laughs> okay. Can't that, can't that don't ride her, they stick together is what it is. I'm not sure. I, I'm, I'm, you lost me on that one, Daryl. What up, cuzzo? My cousin Charlie B, Charles Smith. Boy, you're right about that. Say everything free and watch the whole set. Hey, I'm telling you right now. If you want to see your club brothers, tell them y'all finna pay for something. Hey, man, uh, put it out on the wire. Hey, man, we paying for everybody to go to Atlanta. Watch watch they get off that road. Watch that, watch that truck driving ain't that important to them. Watch that government job going to give them what the, the days off they need. Watch the wife ain't tripping. Watch all that. I promise you. Tell them you're paying for them to go somewhere. It's free. All free. You watch, watch your club brothers show up in, in, in numbers. The whole club will be there. And it's most likely is because not that they really want to go, but they don't want they don't want you to get nothing for free and they've been paying their dues. So yeah, that that's part of that. And I yeah, I said it. Lynn says, Bro, I'm a founder of an all women's MC. Shout out to you, Lynn. Can you talk about these female clubs that derive directly from a male club? These female clubs don't holler at the OMC to start a club, but their male counter I'll say the male their male okay, but female the uh, but the male counterparts counterparts holler at the OMCs to form the female division. These females were the same center patches as the as the guys, but have ladies of, women of, etc. The founders are men, so they are co-ed clubs or a true all-women MC. Please explain. Let me tell you something. There's only one patch for your motorcycle club. If you got a different patch from the majority of the members, then you're not a member of that club. If your club is a co-ed club, if you got females that pay dues, that are allowed in meetings, that have to follow the bylaws, you got a co-ed club. I don't care if it's your wife, your girlfriend, or whatever. She can have women of the... the that is a co-ed motorcycle club. That is not an all-male club. Period. There is no other way to disguise it. Get around. If they have to pay dues, okay, if they have to abide by the bylaws, okay, if they wear the same patch as you, you're in a co-ed club. It's just that simple. You can't sugarcoat it. You can't disguise it. You can't do none of that. And you are to conduct yourself by the same rules the same passion and the same vigor as an all male club. If you're if you're a female club or co-ed club, understand this. At the end of the day, your number one goal is to protect your MC and the and the, and the keep. So, for example, I'm, I'm gonna give you this. If your MC and I and this is one of my videos I just did, uh, female presidents of a uh, uh, female presidents of a co-ed club. If your club chooses. To vote a female as the head of the club, and it's a co-ed club. But then somebody has a problem with that. I ain't gonna say who or whatever, but somebody has a problem with that, and they tell you, "Oh, she can't be the president. We not having that in this area." But well, y'all got two choices: tell them to f off, book, get ready to box and fight, and do what you're gonna do, or me personally, shut the whole club down because nobody can should be able to tell your club what to do and how to do it. I'm just saying that. I mean, it is being done, the whole nine yards. But if this is us, this is us. Either respect how we get down or it is what it is. See, and that's the problem. A lot of people are not ready to deal with the it is what it is. I'm a motorcycle until you say I can't. Oh, we good? Oh, we can't? Okay, okay, okay. We cool, we cool. Oh, we can't? Okay, okay. Let's, let's motorcycle. Oh, we can't? Oh, we got a three months off, nine months? Oh, okay. Boy, stop. Get grown before you start motorcycling. Trust me, get grown before you start motorcycle. But if you have females in your club that wear the same patch as you, I don't care if one word is different or two words is different, you're in a co-ed club. It's just that simple. 
All right, I hope I answered that for you, Lynn. Uh, and if a male, if the if the men in the club go to the OMC to get permission to rock the club, then somewhere, sometime, the OMCs know that there's females in that club. You can't go to the OMC to say you want all male clubs, but you got females rocking the same patch. It ain't gonna happen. Eventually, that's gonna come to head. You're you're a co-ed club. You can't not say you want to be a male club, but you're really a co-ed club. So, you know, whatever the rules and regulations is in your area, because I'm telling you guys right now, all of the rules different based on region and area. All right, Carlos John Lee Day, what up? Tony Snow, Darnita, way to keep it 100. I'm always, what up, Anthony? What up, Greg? Carl Jones, Janita Hanford. What up, Miss Hanford? Sandra Davis, Sherry Harrington, you are on it, sir. Thank you. Reggie Dion Double, Donna Turner, Tony Snow. 2018, can all clubs have a no panties rule for single women again? Tony Snow. Only Tony Snow. If y'all know who Tony Snow is, only Tony Snow. Shout out. <laughs> Preach, brother. We learned something. Hey, Damon Woods, I hope you are. Bobby Steele, sell always on it. Ryan Samuel, what up? Fast Lane Low. There it is there. What up, Fast Lane? I see you, baby. Dex Black. Moses. What up, Moses? Yes, sell passion. Got to have passion, Yolanda. And Tom Taylor. When did or how did the culture change in a in a in a change in a in a MC from be, from beginning a club of brothers who dwelled together, protected each other from the wrongful mistreatments of black communities, being role models hold on being role models for the youth, a unity of uplifting, supporting each other and mentoring society that the black communities are taking care of each other. To you can only be a club member if you just get yonder to be a club brother. And Tony, it's not like you need to be a, 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 a freedom fighter. Uh, I didn't join my motorcycle club when I joined the club to do none of that, what you just said. To be no community activist and to, to uplift the black race and to, to, to support the youth. And all. I, no, I, 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 no, I didn't do that. I, I was doing whatever uplifting and youth bringing that I was doing before I joined the club. So that wasn't, that wasn't the basis of my club. That wasn't in the bylaws of my club. You know what I'm saying? You need to know what's in your bylaws of your club. You need to know you need to know uh, whatever the rules and regulations of your club. But I didn't. Yeah, that wasn't in my club. I didn't join my club to do no community service. I ain't, I didn't get no speaking ticket. You feel what I'm saying? I, I ain't get no speaking ticket. I didn't break no laws. I had to do no community service and and and, and uplifting role models. I didn't know. If we happen to do that, if that's one of the missions that we take on, then so be it. I'm gonna go tell a little young cat. And get it straight and get on. You know what I'm saying? But that ain't what I joined my club for. So that is not. Don't think that. Yeah, fast before you get bit. Don't think that you join a motorcycle club to become a civil rights activist. You know that ain't what the mindset of a lot of clubs. They they didn't join. You, you, you didn't join a club to become a civil rights activist. If, what you want to do? It sounds like you need to join all the stuff you got up in here. Um, mistreatment of black community, being role models, and you. Yeah, 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 you need to go holler at Al Sharpton them. You feel what I'm saying? You need to go holler at Al them and see if they got some room for you. You, you feel what I'm saying? On, on their on they board or something. You know what I'm saying? But you don't join, you know, uh, MC thinking that we going to, you know, we shall overcome Kumbaya and, you know, I have a dream. We we, we we not doing none of that. I'm sorry. You know, so if that's what you thought, somebody told you wrong. <laughs> you feel me? I'm just saying. I missed the part of leaving them, returning to MC. But rewind and go back. I, I spoke on that. Nate Washington, Stephen L. Young, Diamond Riders MC in the Metro Columbia have a clubhouse. Hey, they deserve to have a clubhouse. If you're a motorcycle club, you should have a clubhouse. Back in the day, you couldn't be a motorcycle club without a clubhouse. Do your history. You'll find it out. If you didn't have a clubhouse, you were a motorcycle club. Rob Willard, Jim Stroker Kenny. What up, Jim? Natasha Ho, Paul Casey. What are you eating? You know, I ain't eating nothing. Chewing on his lip, probably. I missed the bike life. Nicky Nick, okay. Many clubs today are about numbers. That's why the feds and police can infiltrate. Say, man, I'm going to leave that alone. Because you got a lot of the feds. And the, let me tell you something. Don't nobody got to infiltrate. They giving information away for free. Do something, do something that one of your club brothers don't like. And watch your ass get told on. Message. <laughs> Ryan, my man, what up? In New Mexico, my man Ryan. You still in New Mexico, Ryan? I think you are. Hunter, Shirley, Black Eyes, Tate, Fast Lane, Low, 1%. Of, what up with it? Oh, the sugar coated. Hey, man, I ain't gonna never sugar coat it. Um, Mike Robinson, Damon Woods. I took a free gig in support of, of but I still founded my own 
gas money and was off work. So where does that put me? Okay, you see. Damon Wood says, I took a free gig in support of, but I still funded my own gas money and was off work. So where does that put me? I don't know. It puts you, it, it sounds like you got the ability to do whatever you want to do, Damon. So do whatever you want to do. If you want to MC, whatever, whatever you choose to do, you can do it. If you got a free gig, if you can afford to take a free gig, kudos to you. If you're off work and doing what you do, kudos to you. Chiquita, after you after you dial 911, dial 411. <laughs> I'm telling you right now, buddy. Uh, Fast Lane Road, Calvin, Delane Carter. I'm Big Seth, H -O -E. that, that part right there, don't get mad. Hey, so what up, Stephanie? The, the, what up, bro? Brooks, bro, Boss King and Queen Riders. What up, Jacksonville, Florida in the building? A lot of bikers really just don't understand protocol and the positions they have been voted or placed in. FYI, K9 Nation of Houston, the 2018 National PRO in St. Louis. That's right. I will be there. I spoke on that in the beginning of the video. January 19th to the 21st, St. Louis, Missouri. The general session, guess who it belongs to? Me. Snowman, big punchy. The truth will be told. Understand this. Bring your bylaws so when you ask me a question, I can ask you what your bylaws say. I'm not don't don't come to the PRO thinking I'm gonna beat up your president or beat up your VP or beat up your rules and regulations because I'm not. If you join the club where the president will be the president forever and you sign the thing on the dotted line, then guess what? Stop complaining about the president. Stop complaining, because that's what you agreed to do. Uh Tony Snow. <laughs> Steph is hot. Uh, what up, Ava? Q Hog Rad, Antonio Turner, Tony Snow, Tell Queen to ask the ASPCA is watching. <laughs> Mike Robinson, what up? Harley Diva, Ryan House. Okay, Calvin, what up? Christopher Reynolds. KG in the house. What up, KG? Brett, Brett Brown, Calvin Carter, Relly Rail. What up? My man, Relly Rail. Cold Blue. What up, man? Mad love to you. Shout out on the Eagle Head, too. I spoke on all Eagle Head earlier, man. Shout out to my man, Cold Blue. One of, the, one of the multiple Eagle Head holders. Now, we just moved to Vegas in November. Okay, how let me... Okay, for, for sure. I got you. Sandra, he a supporter. So who a supporter? Who a supporter, Sandra? As a new member in a club, how much should you push protocol and bylaws? Let me tell you something. And this is my advice for all members, especially new members. The best thing you can do for your club is shut up and listen. Don't get involved in the politics. Don't get involved in the already anything before you. Don't get involved in that. Just be quiet and listen. When you go to a party or you go to a clubhouse, find the OG sitting in the corner or find one of the oldest members and say, hey, man, let me buy you a drink, man, and just sit there and ask them all the questions you want to ask them. That's what I had to do. When I got on the bike set, I didn't have no choice. I had to do that. And I thank God that my president at the time made me do that. I couldn't be caught on the dance floor. I wasn't allowed to be on the dance floor for the first after I and this was after prospecting. I had to go sit in the corner, find OGs, buy them a beer, and soak up as much knowledge, ask all the questions that I wanted to ask. Everywhere we went. So I got different opinions from all different regions. So that's the best thing I can give any new member. Less lip, more listening, be quiet, be be seen and not heard. Okay, what we got? Uh, what did I do? Uh, no, we just okay. All right, September seventh, eighth uh, annual ball King. There you go. You're gonna take your, you're gonna shoot your shot on my on my video. Who is that? The D, the DJS, you know, whatever. Keep on, player. Yeah. What it do, Gregory? Deshaun Gibson, what up, Senior Roger? Big sale. Some clubs that have been around for many years still have the same president. Either they won't step to the side up for someone now. Or they are the founders. They won't support because their president mad at the rest of the clubs on the set. And they got mad with no one show up to their annual. Okay, let me, let me tell you this. And I just said this. Again, some clubs, some founders that, that became president. Because that was the only way they became a president because they are a founder. They put in the bylaws that they would be the president of their club forever. If you join that type of club, then shut up and stop complaining. Okay. But if you're in a real motorcycle club where democracy rules, then 
you have voting power, you have veto power, you have the power to the members are the strongest person in the club. They're stronger than the president, they're stronger than the vice president, they're stronger than Sergeant Arn. The members collectively can get together and change anything in the club. They can change any person from the head of the table, put them at the back of the table. You gotta know how to do it. You gotta know how to do it in order and with respect. You have to have motions and seconds and, and, and all these things have to be done in the proper way. But what I'm going to tell you is this. Don't get rid of your president only because you want to be president and you don't have a better plan or a better, better, better thing to present to the club than what he got. You're just mad at him because he didn't do what you wanted him to do. So now you want him out the way. Or you're mad because, um, you know, he did so he whatever it is. But there's no such thing as a president being a president forever, if it's not in the bylaws. There's no such a thing. Period. As a president, if I was the president of a club, I want to groom all my members to be presidents. I want all my members to have the same knowledge because if I got 15 could be presidents in my club, that means we're a hell of a club. Because that I mean I got 15 people that's going to respect the same thing I respect, know what I know, go in the direction that I'm trying to go in, get to where I'm trying to go, and they're going to help me get there. And instead of pulling me back, they're going to understand so that's the thing. You, you, you officers, teach your other members how to be able to groom somebody, groom multiple people. Say, hey, man, do you know what I do as a secretary? So, therefore, before you start complaining about my job, know what I have to do. We ain't talking about your personal life and your job and all that. I'm talking about let them know what it is that you have to do. Let them know, you know, why what they think they see is the easiest. Because by the time you see it, I've already done all the hard work, all the labor, all the rough stuff. I've already done all that. So what you're seeing now is the easy part. But it ain't easy. And that's from being sergeant in arms all the way up to president. That's from being a business manager, a PRO. It ain't easy. But the club, because they only come together once a month or twice a month, you only see the easy stuff. You didn't see all the work I had to do during the week, the phone calls that had to be made and the different fires I had to put out as a president, the different hands I had to shake and sit down. You didn't see all that. All you saw was you came to meeting on Sunday and I said, we're going to do this and you didn't like this. So now you want me out of my spot. Knock it off. Okay, hey, say to pay for his own gas. Oh, he say he paid for his own gas. Oh, oh yeah. Hey, if he say he paid for his own gas, he paid for his own gas. Switch man, what up? We just got snow here in the loo. This slide. So come with some warm clothes. I just started a Facebook page, and that's my Facebook. Okay, really, well, I got you. Thanks for the heads up. Two eyes, two ears, and one mouth all the time. Where can I purchase one of them shirts? Uh, I only have big boy sizes left. I have a few. I have. I'm sorry. I have a few one X's, two X's. All the threes is gone. I got fours and fives. That's all I got. So if you want to get at me when I get off, and I'll see you in the information. I'm the only one, I'm I'm the only one can shoot his shot, block his ass for violating the rules. <laughs> I'm just saying. Beast advice, best advice of the day: find an OG and listen. I got you, William. I am Gypsy Ronald. Robert rules of order always. Jay Smith. What's your YouTube channel? FHO Atlanta GA. FHO Atlanta GA. Make sure you go there, subscribe, hit the bell, the like button so that you can get a notification because all of my live videos will be on 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 YouTube. I'm getting away from Facebook, right? Uh, not until <laughs> you read knock it off. Want some good history and knowledge about me, MC, riding, or et cetera? Talk to the LA Defiant ones, the oldest MC in Los Angeles. Totally agree. Shout out to the DOs, man. I love you guys. Um, I did an interview when I was there. I don't think it was the D.O.s, but I did an interview with uh, with the Choppers. One of the oldest member of the Choppers, I think, used to be a D.O. or whatever. So that's on my page as well. Uh, Shannon Red, Alan Sanders, what up? Jerry Puck, how's it going? I'm fine. What up, bro? Just checking you out. Hey, man, appreciate your switch, man. All right? So that looks like it's about it. That's my time. Check this out, man. I love you all again. This was just my Saturday Q&A, my Saturday question and answers. Understand this. I am just the person to bring it. I don't know it all. What I don't know, I'm not going to fake like I do. But what I do know, I know. Put some respect on that throttle is number one. Love yourself so that you can love somebody else is definitely number two. And it's all about that. If you're not doing that, then you can't be expecting nothing from nobody else. All right? Any more questions? Anybody want to come on before I go off? No, no, not you. Peace. Good looking out, fam. Peace, peace, peace. Real talk. All right. Love y'all. Love piece of hair grease. It's your boy, Big Celebrate, your H and I C. I'm gone.